ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, this morning it is Wednesday, November 15th, 2017, approximately 1 a.m. Uh, Tom has been out on a service call for a little while. A uh, driver shut her truck off and uh, went inside, came back out, and the truck would not restart. Uh, Tom's been trying to figure out what's going on, and what he's found so far is that it doesn't seem to have any fuel going to the engine. Uh, there's fuel in the tank, fuel in the filter, uh, but it's as if the fuel pump possibly has gone out or something along those lines. Anyway, uh, he's been in contact with the uh, with the trucking company and they want to have us go ahead and tow it into the shop and work on it in the morning. Uh, there's only so much you can do out on the road. Thankfully, this is on a little side road. Uh, it isn't out on the interstate. It's not out on a highway, so uh, very low traffic. So, not saying it's going to be an easy job, but it's going to be much safer than if it were out on the interstate. Uh, Tom's already working on getting the drive shaft out for me. Since he's got the service truck and tools there, he, he uh, going to help and get uh, get the drive shaft out and start getting uh, a port for me to tap into on the air system. Uh, this truck or the trailer is loaded. Anyway, I am headed that direction. Problem is, I'm gonna be out in this intersection. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. That's why I was wondering whether you wanted me to hang ten and just pull up here and block the road. Well, we're gonna have to. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna reset my underreach. I've still got the uh, the risers on it because okay. I moved a trailer with it. If you want to help me with that, you can. Might as well do it back here before we before we get in the middle of that intersection. It's not like it's that busy right now, but Got you some gloves. Uh, I got them on, yeah. Better go. Yeah, you better go grab you some. Oh, and the reflection 
I don't know if you can see the halo, the way it's uh, pulsating. It's actually uh, rotating around 360 degrees all the way around the hard hat. Of course, we've got street lights here, which gives us good visibility too, so that's not a, not a big issue. And we're not going to be taking up a whole lot of them. intersection I don't think people ask what the three toots of the horn are that's just to allow people or to warn people that I am going into reverse. This thing does have a backup beeper, but the uh, uh, three toots of the horn is just another way of alerting people that I'm going into reverse. pretty good up here Tom they can get past they got a full lane so I'm gonna do a pick just set it in put both ends in there and I'm gonna use the boom to pick it and we're going to use tall forks that way it clears that oil pan and it's a uh, low radiator low slung radiator yeah go ahead and verify always double check make sure your brakes are set Yeah, Tom. Which side is your strap? So oh, I can shoot strap that. It. That's that son of a gun is air ride. Darn it, Tom. Uh, didn't look at that, but it's not working. Darn it, Tom. That's an air ride. one of those hollow composite axles uh get some blocks hey i'm here yep gonna have to. i hate dragging this wheel lift out but you can't tow this thing
gonna have to get some more serpentine belts yeah. for handles. Well, you get the indistinct pleasure of uh, helping me work these super heavy yeah. wheel lifts. Tom, let me show you how they work. These are simply on a, a pivot. Okay. Make sure everything's out of the way down here. They roll down. I stack a bunch of other stuff in here because I don't hardly ever use these. As you can tell, the paint's still fresh on them. <laughs> All right, now this is, these are a two-man operation. Okay. All right. This one, as you can see, the way it's laid out, <laughs> this is for the passenger side. Okay. All right. You grab there. I'll grab this one. No, I'm wrong. Yeah, I just started having it. I'm wrong. wrong. Yeah. It's too early in the morning. There late you go. at night. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not asleep yet. Oh, it's so much easier with two people. Oh, yeah. Woo! Doing these rascals on your own is not good. Oh, hell no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even want to go there. Maybe 20 years ago, but not now. Well, <laughs> that's why we don't use them very often. Take them in. All right, now we should have some pins. Yep. Two on uh, the long ones? No, no these right. are. Here's the thin ones. These thick ones are for oh. here. Okay. The thin one, thin ones, go okay. for locking the wheel lift in, and that's yeah. for the uh, arms. Yeah. They're spaced evenly. I didn't know if it mattered to you. Nope. Well, they're all closed. Hell, I thought that was open down. Right on me. <laughs> there is a difference, though. Do I need to drop it down? Yeah. Now hold on just a second. We'll hit the first hole over here.
There you go. It'll go. Now go. Now. There you go. Take it to the first hole. Okay. Line it up with the first hole. The end of that should be about flush. Very yeah. Okay, did you take two more pins like that out? No, I only took two out. Okay. Now they, see the keyway here? Uh -huh. That goes up, push it in, and then rotate it down 90 degrees. Okay. Or 180, I'm sorry. Yeah. So it goes, so it's pointed down. That, yeah, that locks it in. Do what, Tommy? They're right here, the scoops, oh. wheel scoops, and they've got uh, they've got the pins in them. Like this one here will be for this side. Watch me until I get out to the very next hole. I'm gonna have to spread it out. Oop. Well, I may have missed it. Yeah. You're sneaking up on it. Got that? Back a little. That's all right. This here taper. Right here, yeah. Taper. It'll line it up. Just line up bar. I think we're gonna have to do both of them and then may still have to go some more. <laughs> I thought these. Alright. <laughs> Just start to see the hole. There you go. Alright, since it's that far out. I might have to bring the truck back at an angle because I'm up against this curb. See how I'm up against the curb now? What I gotta do is I gotta cut my wheel and bring the wheel lift back over this way, away from the curb. Plus it's up against the tire on this side. Let me shut these doors real quick.
Need, yeah, I need to come over some more this way. Tom, I got to tilt it up. All right, I've got two holes exposed on the back side of the scoop. Can you? You got one? Well, let me come over and work it around. We want to get it as tight in on a tire as we can. May have to drop it down a little bit. There you go. There. Whoa. Back her up. Back her up. Now you got it. There you go. That's it. You got it. Now it gives you plenty of clearance on everything. All right. Get my block. Yep, get the blocks. And if you would, while I'm strapping this down, Go ahead and put that stuff. Just put it all in the uh, compartment where this came out, okay. and we'll uh, sort it out. Sort it out in the morning. Yep. Okay. Normally I don't do that, but I'm ready to go. Use the wheel lift on the uh, 35 ton Century 7035 that I drove all the time before getting this truck. They make several different styles of these uh, tire lifts. They make a Euro lift that. Uh, a lot lighter and a lot easier to set up but that's not what comes with the Miller all right 
that's just like a uh, flatbed trailer winch exact same thing tighten the straps down get her all in there Tommy you bet. we need an extra box to store more stuff <laughs> All right. I need You want to get a uh oh, shoot. I'll get a uh, ratchet strap out of my toolbox compartment on this side past uh, driver side driver side go ahead and strap that shaft doing here is setting up for my breakaway chains on a wheel lift you, or a tire lift you still need the breakaway chains and on these clevis shackles people have different terminology for them you screw the screw pin in tight and bag it off a quarter to a half a turn. That should be more than enough. going a few miles but you still want these breakaway chains on there if something should happen it's a liability on you for not having them on there did you find my ratchet straps yep. Okay. We're going to ride it about that height. I do believe. May drop it down a hair, but won't be much. Notice I added a uh, reflective arrow along with our flashing light. All right, now. go back.
back to old school. That's a good idea with a shutoff valve, Tom, but uh, I can make that work. He's got to take his nipple off. Unless... Do what? Yeah, it'll work. I just got to reconfigure this. No big deal. Not a problem. Couplers and fittings should, that's what I was looking for, have a glad hand with that on. So, now. that way or I could just screw this in but if we do it this way it allows me to use the uh, shut off valve Tom's got myself a lot because we're on camera. There you go. Well, I do a lot. I ain't on camera. So. <laughs> yeah. Everybody starts saying something about us. Well, I don't know where to give them a telephone conversation. They give them a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Bud? Back here. 
Big tarp straps, yeah. Very front compartment. Very front compartment hanging up on the back side of the box. All kind of assortments of them. People ask all the Do what, Tom? People ask all the time. I've got these self-retracting straps. These smaller ones are a one inch by six foot long made by uh, oh shoot, Reese. And then these are 10 foot. They're actually a little heavier working load limit. Uh, they're made by, let's see, Erickson. Darn it. Walmart sells the six foot ones and the 10 foot ones I get at Menards. Walmart for some reason doesn't have the 10 footers. Might want to hold off because I got to run service air to the trailer. I'm, I'm going to run service air to the trailer since she's loaded. And she doesn't have any clue what the weight is. She said she did. They didn't give her a bill of lading or anything? I don't know. I ain't waiting yet. He said, okay. I said, okay. Uh, I figured she get the whole thing. There. No, right. just go in. Go in right through there. Okay. There we go. Now we need the other rubber hose for service air. That way when I apply my brakes, it applies brakes on the trailer. Now you can tap this in so that it will uh, work the truck and the trailer brakes. Right. No further than we're going, I'm just gonna use the trailer brakes. Right. Tarp strips. Got some more. I've explained this before but if you're new to my channel I'll explain it again since I'm using a straight rubber hose I have to tie off enough slack in the straight hose so that the trailer can pivot and the air hose doesn't come loose but at the same time, you've also got to uh, make sure that it doesn't have enough slack to get down into the tires. That thing can just go through a regen again? Tommy? That thing just go through a regen again?
these coils will provide plenty of turning oh, radius. Turning. Yep. Got you. So we're good. We just need to make sure that the slack right. is tied up. Okay. You, you want to double check Put, that, that dry rod? Right? I got it as tight as I can get it. Yeah. Um, it was, uh, it slipped a little bit, so I pushed it all the way back in. And okay. Yeah, we always do a walk around. Yeah. Whenever we're done. Yeah. Make sure everything's good. And let me let me walk you through a walk around on a uh, tractor and trailer. I'm sure you know what to look for, but we'll do some on the job training here. There you go. I'm all set. You're getting greasy paw prints all over my truck, Tom. I didn't do that with you. <laughs> hey, I just took my gloves off five minutes ago. Okay, breakaway chains installed. We got plenty of clearance. Straps tied over here. All the pins are locked in. Hoses are good. Now, you notice that I've got a loop in here. Right. You know why I've got that? Okay, we've yep. explained that. Check your tires, make sure you've got tires, make sure the handle is all the way in. There's a little bit of space in between the fifth wheel. Make sure it's not sitting on top of the jaws. Now, it's down in there. But you always make sure that the jaws are latched and that handle is all the way in. No air ride yet. It will be when we air it up though. Now back here, you make sure that your uh, belly hoses aren't dragging. Make sure your slider pins are locked in. And it slid almost all the way forward, which would give us a good turning radius we got well we've got got theirs yeah uh, I need to put my light bar on it unless you want to run escort for me I can do that yeah if you'll run escort I'll just run it that way slider pins both of them are locked in on this side tires are good Legs are up. <coughs> Tires are good. Okay, so now the only thing we gotta do is hope you picked the right port on the air tank. Yes. <laughs> Alright, push my red. Valve in. We'll find out shortly. Yep. Push the red valve in and it supplies air to the tractor just like the air compressor was running. Alright. I hear air going in.
we got? Huh? We got 100 PSI right now. On both? Yep. Primary and secondary? No, yeah, about 110 on the secondary. Because the uh, air ride isn't coming up on the back axle. Yeah, I Maybe, where's the leveling valve on the front or on the back? Tom's already got everything in a Ziploc bag, good. Do what, Tom? Okay. I'll have to let her down just a little bit then for tow. changed control pads and you have to actually energize the uh, control pad for the underreach. Tom, make sure all the tires are rolling. It feels good. All right, we're good to go. Halo off. Turn all the lights off. Except for the marker flashers and the main beacon. Grab the drink real quick. and trailer we get rolling a little bit
We'll make it. Show you since I don't have the parking brake pulled out, the winching brake will 
allow that uh, lift axle to stay down. See, it's, it's down now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there she sits. Ready for repairs first thing in the morning, hopefully. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and God bless.